everybody. Welcome to Beginner Yoga. My name is Joanne. Thanks for practicing with me today. We are just um, coming out of our week of frost. <laughs> so um, I hope that everybody is safe and uh, warm and has water and power. So sending out the good vibes to everybody. Um, it's been kind of a bit of a harrowing week. So I'm happy to be able to be here. It's a beautiful sunny day and um, and do this practice with you guys. So um, we'll start in a comfortable seat. So feel free to use a blanket if you need or a prop. Um, you can even use a pillow or something you have handy. Um, if you need to find a little height for your hips. So you can elevate your hips to get more length in the spine and more freedom in the front of your hips. So it's supposed to be easy. So make it easy, this posture. And then once you've elevated your hips as much as you need. We'll just shrug the shoulders up by the ears and down the back to open up the chest, just soften the shoulders. Try not to force anything and feel the crown of the head lifting up toward the sky, resting the hands, palms down or up. Um, it's nice if you feel like you're a little frantic and you need to be more grounded to have the hands down. And if you feel like you need to open up and be more receptive, you can have the palms up. So whatever resonates with you today for this practice, feel free to find that position. And allow your eyes to gently close. And allow your lips to part just slightly so that your jaw is soft. And at the beginning of our practice, we're gonna just, we always like to take a little inventory of how you're feeling in this moment. So doing a brief scan of the body, checking in with the mind if it's running thoughts or it's quiet or tired or maybe it's caffeinated, whatever, however you're feeling, just notice it. Nice to take that inventory at the beginning of our practice and then check back in at the end to see if we've noticed any changes or transformations in the body and mind. Which hopefully we always do. That's the idea. So once you've done your inventory, we'll take um, a little attention into the breath. And as always in yoga, we want to breathe into our belly. So we really want to bring the belly out. As you inhale, the breath should begin in the belly. And then you're going to feel that body, that whole rib cage expand out to the sides of the room. And then you'll feel the chest and the clavicles, the tops of the lungs rise a little bit in into the chest. So it's like a three dimensional wave on the inhale. So starting from the belly, inhale through the nose. And then as we exhale through the nose, we reverse the wave. So the chest comes down, the ribs come back toward each other, and we gently squeeze navel towards spine. And doing that automatically should bring the belly the breath back into the belly on the inhale. And if this three part breath is new to your practice, don't stress about it or worry if it doesn't feel right. You want it to feel free and opening and closing. It should be pretty easy, but if it's new and you're used to breathing more from your chest, it takes a little time to get used to. So don't, don't fret about it. Just do the best you can. I think a nice visualization for the breath is to visualize a baby when they breathe. They always breathe from their belly, diaphragmatic breath. As you continue to breathe and expand the breath, 
Notice on your inhale, you're creating space in the body, filling up. And notice on the exhale, you just soften and let go around the space. So we just keep that space nice and open and we just soften everything around it. Taking a couple more breaths here. On your next inhale, breathe in all the way to the top. And on your exhale, just simply drop the chin forward. Keep the collarbone broad and the shoulders back. Weight of the head is forward, feeling that stretch across the back of your neck. And just observe how that feels. Keep breathing. Notice each exhale, feel a little more release in the neck. And let's begin to move the head in a nice smooth way with our breath. So as you inhale, rock one ear to one shoulder, open up, nice smooth movement. As you exhale, draw the chin forward. And as you inhale, rock to the second side. Inhale, open up. Feeling like this on the other side of the neck as it opens. Exhale forward. And you may go at a different pace. That's totally fine. Everybody's got their own rhythm. So listen to your body, listen to your breath. Exhale, never work in pain. If anything hurts, don't do it. I encourage you to use props at home. So pillows, blankets, blocks, straps, ties, whatever you've got handy. Have it nearby in case you need it. And I'll cue you for any um, potential places to use those props. Exhale and inhale to the second side again. Good, let's exhale. Inhale to your first side. Open the chest, relax both shoulders. And whichever ear is over the shoulder, take the other arm to the side, opposite arms to the side. Activate the fingers here and lift the sternum. So that is flexed and our arm is extended. Feeling this down the arm as you breathe. Feeling intention down the arm. So we're not just here, we're extending. Keeping the shoulder down and open, the neck open. And then just gently wiggle the head a little bit. So you're just gonna kind of use the, the nose to sort of rock the head side to side. So imagine you're drawing with your nose. You want a nice smooth motion with the nose. And just feeling how that changes the stretch in the neck. Breathing in and out as you move and you might need to like sort of shift the angle of your head to find whatever areas you need to release. So I encourage you to kind of nice to close the eyes as you do this. So you can feel into your stretch breathing as you move. Creating new space. And openness with each movement and breath. Good. And then we'll bring the head, sort of bring the nose toward the screen again, where we started, drop the chin, take that arm up right back in, inhale to your second side, open the chest, drop your shoulders, sternum's lifted, ears over the shoulder approximately. Make sure your head's not forward, so your ears should be pretty much over your shoulder. Again, walk the up opposite arm out, activate those fingers, lifting through your sternum, keep dropping through your shoulders. Finding your breath, feeling this down the arm. 
And then we'll just move the nose gently. Not making big movements today, just sort of gently wiggling side to side. Imagine drawing with your nose. And feel free to again, close the eyes and play with the angle. Finding the release where you need it. Keep breathing into each stretch. Maybe explore a little bit on the angle. Good, a couple more breaths. Good, and then bring the nose toward the screen again. Slowly drop the chin forward, bring the arm back in and take the head upright and just sit up tall, drop the shoulders, see how that feels. Retract the chin slightly. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. Let's release the arms by the side. So let the arms be heavy, just relax the hands. And then we're gonna shift forward a little bit as you bring the shoulders up forward, up by the ears and then down the back. So big circles, inhale, squeeze up, big breath in, exhale as you lower. Good again, inhale, squeeze, and exhale, release. One more time, up and back. Good, settle the shoulders. And then we're gonna sit up tall again, have the hands by the side, shoulders down. You're gonna inhale, sweep one arm up, and then ground your shoulder. So we're not here, but we're here. Walk the other hand out to the side as far as you can go, and then rest the hand and fold over. So we want softness in the elbows and the joints, not locking anything here. Keep the chest open. Maybe gaze to the sky and open the chest a little further. See how that feels. We're gonna breathe into the side body. So you're leaning toward this, this side, but you're pulling the ribs that direction. So in the opposite direction. So we're feeling dynamic movement. Just trying to extend everything, feeling a nice stretch through the ribs as we breathe. Good, and then we'll inhale as we stretch up tall and lower that top arm down. Relax the arms by the side. Let's shrug the shoulders here, squeeze up and down. Good, relax the arms, inhale, take the other arm up. Again, plug the shoulder in, walk the other hand out as far as you can, resting the hand on your extended and then fold to the side. Softening through the elbows, open the chest, maybe open toward the sky. Keep the neck supported here so we don't wanna drop our head. Keeping the neck supported, maybe opening the chest if that feels good. Think about pulling the ribs to the opposite side as you breathe. One more breath here. Use your core strength to inhale, lift up and lower the arm. Good, we'll shrug our shoulders here again. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Awesome. We're gonna interlace our hands and um, we're gonna kind of create a little lock here. So keep your shoulders down and your elbows wide. And then you're just gonna pull the arms. So imagine you're pulling apart, trying to rip open something. So you're pulling, creating a little tension with the shoulders down. Breathe in and pull a little bit, feeling this in the shoulders. Neck is long and loose. Good, and then from here we're gonna Interlace the hands and push the hands out. Flip the palms to face you so you're pulling your knuckles toward the screen. Keep the shoulders grounded and pull toward the screen as you round the upper back to the back of the room. So I want you to feel this and maybe drop the chin a little bit. So we're pulling apart. Again, both directions, pulling forward and back at the same time. And then we'll find a couple breaths here. Breathe into the shoulder blades. Rounding your back. One more breath here. Keep pulling apart. Good, and then we're gonna inhale, flip the palms up, reach up. 
pull the shoulders back, keep the ribs contained, keep your core contained and reach back with the arms as best you can. And then exhale, release, lower the arms, shrug your shoulders. Good, exhale, release. Awesome. So I'm gonna remove my little cushion. You can always have it handy. And um, we're gonna come onto all fours on the tabletop. So I'm gonna get another prop to show you guys. If you need a little cushion for your knees, feel free to use a towel or a blanket. <laughs> so you have more cushioning on the knee joint. And we're gonna to come to tabletop. So brighten the hands on the mat. Index and middle finger point forward. Inside of your elbow is gonna to rotate toward the front of the mat. So that's gonna bring the shoulder blades into the back. Knees are under the hips. Relax the toes down into the mat. So pressing into the tops of the feet a little bit. And then we're pushing the mat away from us. So we're not just saying, hanging out here on all fours. We're engaging our core toward the spine and activating our hands and our feet. So it should be nice and firm. Your neck is long. And then we also want to make sure we're creating a little micro bend in the elbow joint so we're not locking the elbow. Good. So from here, we're going to tuck the toes under, take one leg back, and just uncurl your toes. So we're stretching through our calf. And activate your finger pads as well so we're not dumping into the wrist either. So your full surface of the hand is firmly planted. And then we're going to inhale, come forward, and just Stimulate your toe tips so you can rock on your toe tips. This is great if you have allergies. Hopefully with all that snow, nobody's suffering from that right now, hopefully. And then press back. Good, so inhale, you're gonna come forward and stimulate your toes a little bit and then exhale, stretch the calf. Keep the neck long, try not to look back at your foot. One more time and stretch. Good, and then come back so your shoulders are above the wrists and just lift the right leg up. So the leg is parallel to the floor, toes face down. We're standing on the wall behind us. So imagine you're standing back behind you. So your toes are down and your foot is flexed. Good, and then we're gonna inhale. As we squeeze the knee in, we're gonna round our upper back into like a cat stretch here. So squeeze in, draw your nose and knee together. And then exhale. Send that leg out. Lengthen and straighten the leg. Good. Squeeze in. Round your upper back. Squeeze nose to knee. Pull that heel up at the same time. And exhale. Send the leg long. Lengthen the neck. Good. One more time. Squeeze in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale out. Good. Dropping the knee. Anytime you need a break for the wrists, shake them out. Um, and again, try to use the full surface of the hand so you're not taking all the pressure in the wrist to begin with. And then we'll tuck the other toes under. So straighten the opposite leg out. Make sure you're nice and aligned. And then we'll exhale, come back, stretch the calf, inhale, rock forward, and stimulate the toes. Good, pushing back and forward. Keep breathing. And forward, and one more time back, and forward. Aligning yourself, lift that leg straight up. So our hips stay even here. So notice I'm not turning my leg out like that. My toes point down, my foot is strongly flexed, and I'm lengthening and straightening the knee. Pushing the mat away from me, we're gonna inhale, squeeze the nose and knee together. Underneath you hover, squeeze, squeeze and send the leg out long, straighten. Good, inhale, squeeze. And exhale, lengthen, keeping the hips even. One more time, squeeze in. And extend. Good, releasing the knee. Take your toes together, push back on your heels for a moment. Lift your arms and rotate your wrists in both directions. Walk your hands out, inhale back to tabletop. Good, and then we're gonna thread the needle. So activating hands and feet. We're gonna inhale as we sweep one arm up, reach toward the sky, maybe open the chest. 
Exhale, come down as you thread the needle. We're gonna release all the way down to the ear and the cheek. So you can really release that shoulder. And then we'll flow a little bit with the breath. So inhale as you open, stretch up, exhale as you release. Make sure you're giving yourself that full release at the bottom. Inhale, open, maybe the chest lifts a little more and exhale down. And one more time, sweep up and release. Pausing at the bottom here. So we're gonna keep our cheek on the floor for a moment. Taking this other hand up, tent your fingers if you want, lift the elbow up and push into the fingers to kind of give yourself a little more twist if you want, or you can reach back behind you and reach for your opposite leg. Totally up to you. Nice way to kind of deepen the stretch and soften into our shoulder and our neck a little bit. Good, slowly release wherever you are. We'll come back to all fours. And then we'll switch sides. So inhale, sweep up. And exhale, thread the needle. We're gonna go to the other side. <laughs> inhale up and exhale down. Good, reach, big breath, exhale, release. And up, and exhale. Good, one more time open, and exhale down. We'll pause at the bottom. And again, you can tent the other hand up or reach back behind you. Soften into your shoulder. Good, and slowly come out, unwind. Back to all fours. Good, activate, press the mat away from you. We're gonna tuck our toes under now, and we're gonna just hover the knees off the mat about an inch, so we're gonna build a little bit of heat. So make sure your shoulders and arms are nice and firm and aligned. Tuck the toes, keep the neck long, and just lift the knees an inch, breathe. Nice deep breaths. Stretching through the bottoms of the feet, engaging our core, keep breathing. One more breath. And release, good. Bring the big toes together, push back, child pose. Reach the arms around me this time and let the shoulders fall forward. Good, slowly sit up onto your heels. And then I'm gonna move my little cushion. And we're gonna come to a comfortable seat. Coming back to an easy pose. And then we're gonna stack both knees to uh, one side. So we're bringing both feet over to one side. You're gonna cross your top leg over your bottom leg and then ground your sitting bones. If you feel um, this is difficult and you can't flatten this top foot, extend your bottom leg. You're welcome to sit up on a prop here as well, a cushion or a blanket or a block, if you need to elevate your hips. So grab your prop if you need, and then find the leg position that works for you, whatever is best. From here, we're gonna lift up tall, so lengthen the spine, and we're gonna take the same leg that's on top, that arm is gonna stretch behind your back and it's going to kind of lever you open so you're rotating the shoulder open and back your hand is on the ground right next to your spine bringing your chest forward inhale take the other arm up big breath in keep the shoulder grounded and then we're going to twist from our navel so we're going to keep our hips static where they are so we're twisting from the midline up from the navel up so we're keeping our sacrum and pelvis grounded and then exhale, twist from the middle, twist, twist, twist. And then option for the arms is to wrap the arm around the leg, or you can bind the elbow outside of the knee if that's comfortable and you don't round your spine. So if you lose your length, back out. So whichever arm position suits you, that's what you should take. 
And then looking behind your back shoulder, keep twisting with the head, neck, and eyes. And then we want to really breathe into the belly and our twist. So twists are really more about stimulating our internal organ functions, which is great for our rest and digest nervous system. So this is what, how we de-stress in yoga. So we want to really breathe into the belly. It might feel a little constricted and that's okay. Just massaging those organ organs, bringing fresh oxygen and blood with our breath. Take another deep breath here. Good, and inhale, grow tall, exhale, release. Walk your hands to the other side, just a gentle stretch the other direction. Good, and come back to center. So this is where we started. We'll switch the legs to the other side. So both legs stack to the other side. Top leg comes on top. And then check your sitting bones. If you need, extend your leg out. Find that position. And then lift up tall. So lengthen through your spine. Same arm as the leg that's crossed will reach behind you right next to your spine, right at the midline. Open that shoulder back. Inhale, opposite arm stretches up tall. Again, my, my base is nice and sturdy. I'm twisting from the navel and turning. So lift, 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 and turn, turn, turn. And then find the arm position by either wrapping or binding, whatever works for you to keep your spine tall. Looking back behind you and breathe into your belly. Deep belly breaths. Just keep letting go of anything you don't need with each out breath. And on your exhale, we'll slowly unwind and walk your hands to the other side. Gentle counter stretch. Good, come back to center. I'm gonna turn um, to face the long side of my mat because my floor is very cold. <laughs> so I think my legs on the floor is pretty chilly. Um, so I'm going to face this way, but you can stay where you are face forward. So I'm going to lift the flesh away from my sitting bones and I'm going to draw my toes toward my face. I'm going to sit up tall here. This is staff pose. So hands next to hips. You can still sit up on something here if you need. You might also want to take a pillow or a prop or something and place it on your legs or your thighs. We're gonna come forward if you want a little more support and restorative practice today. So that's optional. Draw the toes back, lift up tall. Again, you can use your props. And then we're gonna inhale as we sweep up. Lengthen through the side body, shoulders stay grounded, lift. So feel you're lifting up out of your hips, but we're not arching the back or rounding the back. We're just nice and tall and lifted up out of the hips and out of the pelvis. Breathe in deep. And as you exhale, we're gonna hinge from the hip, keep the toes flexed. The knees can be soft, they don't have to be straight, but whatever works for you. And then lengthen over the legs. So again, if you have a prop here, it's nice. You can use that on your lap or not. And then reaching as far as you can without rounding the spine. And then just let the hands fall wherever they land on the legs. So they might not get far, that's fine. Again, you can use a prop here, you don't have to. You can use a strap around your feet. If you do that, make sure the strap is across the balls of the feet to keep the feet flexed. We don't wanna pull on the arch. Lengthen through the spine. Again, props handy, not necessary. So I'm gonna breathe from the base of my spine all the way up, I wanna feel that all the way up through the crown of my head on the inhale. So breathe in from the, from the spine, create length, keep the chest and collarbone broad and open, exhale, soften. Again, inhale, open, and exhale, soften. So we're not trying to get anywhere, we're just breathing. Inhale, open, exhale, just relax. If there's any pain, don't do it. One more breath. And exhale. Good, slowly walk your hands back. 
back up, sitting up nice and tall. And then we're gonna take our hands behind our back, under our shoulders. So let's start here for a moment. So my hands are facing, my fingers are facing my hips, my glutes. I'm gonna open my chest and just press into my hands to stretch the wrists a little bit and lift the sternum up. Gaze toward the sky, stretching the chest. Take a breath here. Good, and then relax. We're gonna bend our knees, place your feet on the floor about a hip width apart. So nice, comfortable distance. Inhale deeply. And then as you exhale, press into the hands and the feet and just lift the hips, reverse tabletop. Open the chest, breathe here. Good, exhale, lower. Nice. And then let's come into a standing position. So we're gonna cross the legs, roll onto all fours, rock back on your feet, and then come to a standing forward bend. So keeping the feet about a hip width apart, and just folding over your legs here. Shake out your head, yes and no. Releasing any tension. Shake the shoulders, maybe sway side to side. Feel the feet supporting you. Relax the upper body. As you're ready, we're gonna tuck the tail and slowly roll up. Let the arms dangle as you roll yourself up to stand. Shrug your shoulders at the top and open the chest. Let's come to the front of the mat. So feet are hip width apart and we're in mountain pose. So my head is above my shoulders, above the hips and the heels. So I'm nice and tall, I'm active in my core and my pelvis is neutral. So I'm not arching, I'm not over tucking if you're real tight. So see if you can find that neutral pelvis. Activate your leg muscles and heavy suitcases in the hands. Mountain pose. Good, inhale, reach the arms back behind you. We're not gonna arch the back. We're gonna keep the core contained. Reach back as you stretch the pecs and shoulders. Inhale, reach. Connect the hands, exhale them down to your chest. And lower, again, release the arms. We're gonna breathe, inhale, reach behind you. Without changing the core, seal the hands, exhale, lower. Lower the arms, reach back, inhale. Feel the hands, stretch up, exhale, lower. Nice, one more time, inhale, reach back. Stretch up tall, this time we're gonna swan dive, exhale, forward fold. Hold over your legs here. And you can bend your knees as much as you need so the hands touch the mat. Inhale, come into a flat back. I like my hands on my thighs. And then I'm gonna lengthen my spine parallel to the floor. Feeling a nice stretch of the hamstrings as I do that, get a, a little traction in the legs. Exhale, bow. Then roll up, dangle the arms, unfurl. Come up to the top of the mat, shrug your shoulders and open the chest. Again, find that firm foundation and the pelvis is neutral. Inhale, reach back, back, lift up. Big breath in, seal the hands. Exhale as you find length and hinge at the hips, swan dive, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need and tuck the forehead. Inhale, come into your flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, empty the lungs and fold. Maybe the legs are opening a tiny bit. Up for Relax, roll up. Unfurl, shrug your shoulders, open the chest. Come back to a neutral spine. One more time, reach back, inhale, stretch up tall. Big breath in, seal the hands, exhale, swan dive, forward bend. Open the knees, tuck the forehead. Inhale, flat back, open the chest. And exhale, bow. Nice, roll yourself up, inhale. And then shrug your shoulders, open the chest. Back to your mountain pose. Good, so we're gonna step one leg back. We're gonna take a nice giant stance, heel to arch alignment. So the back foot is perpendicular to the front heel. Our hips face the long edge of the mat. We're nice and tall and neutral in the pelvis. Add the arms, stretch out and soften your shoulders. Pull your fingers apart. 
gaze to your front hand where your front foot is. And then we're gonna sink the knee, warrior two. Warrior two, the shoulders noticed, I'm not leaning forward, the shoulders stay above the hips. And I wanna open this knee actively toward the pinky toe side of the foot. So you wanna see your big toe in your periphery. And then maybe you come further, you wanna make sure this knee stays above the heel and doesn't go past the heel. So you can take a wider stance if you wanna challenge yourself a little more, strengthening the legs a little more. Listen to your body, it's up to you, it's your practice of finding a nice dirty warrior two where you feel challenged, but you're not in pain and you can maintain the breath. Key to practicing yoga is being able to breathe fully and completely in every pose. So if your breath becomes shallow, that means you're struggling and stressing. So you wanna back out until you can find your breath again. No pain, no gain is not the name of yoga. Breathe. Take one more breath here. Feel lightness in the upper half. As you exhale, feel grounding in the feet. We'll lower the arms and straighten the front leg. Simply turn the front foot in and turn the back foot out to switch sides. So check the alignment. And again, check that the hips are facing the long edge of the mat. Adjusting your stance as you need. Add the arms, soften the shoulders, pull apart. Gaze to the front hand again. And bend that knee. Find your stance, adjust if you need. Open that knee to the pinky toe side. Keeping the arms even. So sometimes we drop our back arm. See if you can keep it nice and even. Keep opening through the front knee side. Maybe sinking if you're comfortable. Keeping your pelvis neutral as well. Breathe. Inhale, feel lightness and ease in the posture. Exhale as you ground. One more breath here. Good, inhale. And we'll exhale, straighten that front leg, lower the arms, turn that foot in. Let's turn back to the first side again. I'm gonna step my back foot up and plant it on an angle. So now I'm kind of angling my foot to the front corner of the mat, and I'm still having heel to arch alignment. And then I'm gonna aim my hips to face the short edge of the mat. Now I wanna keep my pelvis neutral. So this is a bit more challenging in this position. <laughs> So finding your uh, footing first, square the hips, and then soften the shoulders. And then we're just gonna sink the front knee. You wanna keep the outer edge of this back foot rooted into the earth, rooted into the mat. And then hips are squaring toward the back. As I sink my leg, I'm gonna keep my pelvis neutral. So it's quite a challenge. You should be feeling some stretch here. Also some strength here in the front leg. And then add the arms when you're ready. Soften the shoulders, stretch through the fingertips. We wanna feel that dynamic energy of grounding and lengthening at the same time. We're not straining anything, but we're working. Lots of work here. Keeping that pelvis neutral and breathe. Again, breathing, circulating that energy through the body. as we find effort and ease in each posture. Good, one more breath here. And exhale, lower the arms and straighten the leg. Good, we're gonna pivot the feet to the other side, same posture, other side. So check your footing, square those hips, angle the toes. Figure that out first. Neutralize your pelvis. And then bend the front knee. So again, make sure the knee stays on top of the heel and the back edge foot is grounding completely, nice and flat. Squaring the hips. Neutralize your pelvis as best you can. When you're ready, add the arms. Deep breath in and out. Keep the shoulders soft, stretching the fingers tall. 
Warrior One. I find this pose a little more challenging than Warrior Two, even though it's not quite as much on the quad muscles. I think it's harder to find that space in the torso. But we want to keep the shoulders above the hips and the pelvis nice and neutral. One more breath. Good, lower the arms and straighten the leg. Good, let's turn our feet in again. And then we're going to heel toe the feet back together. So now we've got our feet about a hip distance apart. And let's do, uh, let's do one more half salute while we're here just to check in with our hamstrings. So we're nice and sturdy in our mountain pose. We're going to reach back, inhale, pull the arms back, stretch up tall, seal the hands, exhale, swan dive into your forward fold. And just notice where you are. So hands are touched down. Knees are bent as much as you need, but hopefully a little more straight than they were. And then we're going to roll up, inhale. Oh, I'm sorry, before we roll up, come into flat back, open the chest. Lengthen, and then exhale, fold again. Good, now let's roll up, inhale, unfurl. Shrug your shoulders and open the chest. Back to your mountain pose, and then we're gonna take our balance posture. So let's do the tree. And so um, starting in mountain pose, you're gonna maybe envision roots coming down from the soles of your feet. You're gonna fix your gaze on anything that's not gonna move. You're gonna shift your weight to your standing leg, whichever leg you wanna start on. And we're gonna micro bend the knee joint. So again, our leg is straight, it appears straight, but we're not locking the knee. We're not hyperextending. So there's a softness to the joint. So once you've fixed your gaze, keep breathing and decided which leg, and you're going to take the other foot to the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. So you can have the ankle, the toe down, the calf, or the thigh. Do not use your knee. We don't want to send our knee joint out to the side. So we're activating toward the midline, wherever you are. You're pulling toward the midline. So your foot is pressing into your leg, and your leg is pulling back into your foot at the same time. So there's lift, and then hands come to the chest. So we're not just standing here, we're activating into um, our limbs here, envisioning those roots into the sole of the foot and from the sole of the foot into the earth, and then breathing. If you fall out, don't worry about it, try again. When you feel steady, you'll stretch your arms up, ground your shoulders, open your chest. Find your breath. If you can find effort and ease at the same time. One more breath. Slowly allow the hands to come down to the chest in prayer pose, releasing the foot from the leg and shake it out gently. We'll switch sides. So shifting to the other foot. We'll go through our checklist. So make sure you're micro bending that knee joint, shift the weight, fix your gaze, keep the breath moving nice and tall. When you feel steady, you'll take the other foot to the ankle with the toe down, the calf or the thigh. Find that activation of leg and foot into each other. To help with lift, hands come to the heart, and then we'll stretch up. Soften the shoulders, open the chest. Breathe nice and deep and nice and smooth. Feeling everything is relaxed as you're making a little bit of effort at the same time. So soft, when I say relaxed, I mean soften through the jaw and the brow, shoulders. Our legs are working here to support us. Our breath is moving to get the energy flowing through the whole body. Good, inhaling. And as you're ready, exhale, take the hands to the heart. 
releasing the leg and come down and shake out. Excellent. Let's come down to the mat. We'll do a little bit of floor work before we relax. Let's actually come down to, um, yeah, let's come down to the floor. Um, we're going to do a couple of stretches on the back and then I wanted to do a little breath work before we relax. So we're going to come, let's come on to the back, getting there however we like. Bend the knees to place your feet on the floor. And then um, you want your feet about hip width apart here. Make sure your neck is neutral if you need to use a prop under your head. If you find your chin is lifted, that's crunching the back of your neck here. You want to make sure your chin is neutral. So make sure the neck is neutral and using a prop if you need. So from here, we're going to cross one leg on top of the other. You're going to reach that same arm as the leg that's on top through the hole, connect behind the thigh. Relax that foot, flex your top foot, pulling that in. So figure four on the back. And then you're going to find just a nice micro movement. So we're just going to shift. Imagine you're on your, on your sacrum here on this part of the back that's on the ground. You're sort of shifting it like skis a little bit side to side so that you can feel how that changes the stretch. Option is to use this arm into the, el um, arm into the elbow, elbow into the leg to deepen the stretch a little bit. As you pull this unit towards you, you can press that leg out. If that feels comfortable, you don't have to. If you're tight, you don't need to probably. So you're just gonna breathe as you shift gently side to side. Allow the eyes to close. Imagine sending good energy to that hip, releasing with every exhale, any tension, any congestion. Just let it go with the breath. Good, and then slowly releasing that foot down and uncross the leg. Let's take the arms out to a T and just windshield wiper your knees gently side to side. Maybe two times. Good, bring the knees back up, feet hip width, and we'll cross the other leg on top. Same arm as the leg on top, we'll reach through the hole to connect behind the thigh. Soften that leg, flex the top foot. Pulling that whole unit towards your chest, Option is to use the elbow to press the thigh out. And then just gently breathe and shimmy your hips a little bit side to side. So just feeling that change of the muscle fibers around the hip as you shimmy and breathe. Keep softening, keep the jaw soft and the brow soft. Letting go of tension in that hip. We have one more breath. And slowly release down, unwind, arms out, windshield wiper the knees gently side to side. Good, and then we're gonna come up to a seat. So if you wanna roll up or come up however you like, we're gonna come back to our easy pose. So use your prop if you need it, sitting up to elevate the hips. We're just gonna do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing before we relax. It's a great way to soothe the nervous system and calm the mind. It's been a stressful week. So for many of us, I know, so again, find that easy pose, lift up tall, soften the shoulders. So you wanna make sure your spine is nice and tall as you do this breath work and you wanna keep your shoulders relaxed, your face and jaw relaxed. So you're gonna take your dominant hand, whatever that is for you, I'm right-handed, so I'll take my right hand up and I'm gonna drop my elbow, keeping my shoulder down, just the arm is lifted. And then the easy way to do this is to take three fingers in and do the hang loose. 
Um, the more traditional way is to have the index and middle finger in, the pinky and ring finger together, and the thumb out. So whatever's better for you, doesn't really matter. Sit up tall again. You're gonna take your thumb to your right, to your nostril, whichever side you're on. I'm on my right side. Relax the elbow. So I'm gonna inhale through the left side, through the other side that's open. I'm gonna close both. And then I'm gonna release the thumb and exhale through that side. So we're just gonna do real basic alternate nostril breathing. Inhale through the right side. Close. Exhale through the left. Good. Inhale. And close. Exhale. Inhale. Close. Exhale. Just switching the fingers back and forth. Inhaling through that side. Close. Release on the first side. Exhaling, inhaling on that side. Close, release. Inhale. Close, exhale. Inhale, same side. Close, exhale, release. Inhale, same side. Close, exhale, first side. Inhale, same side. Close, releasing, exhale. Go ahead and release the hand. As you exhale on that side, come back to your easy pose. Close your eyes and let your breath resume to a normal rhythm. Make sure your jaw is soft. Your eyelids are closed and heavy, relaxed. And just notice how that feels. So just a little bit of that alternate nostril breathing can really stimulate our rest and digest nervous system. Very easy to do in a short amount of time. There are different breath rhythms you can play with, but that's a very introductory and easy one to do. Anytime you feel stressed or anxious, it's a really great practice. Good, so from that nice relaxed state, we'll go ahead and come down to the mat for final resting position. If you wanna stay in seated meditative posture, you're welcome to do that. If you want to use a pillow under your knees and come down to your back, you can do that. Feel free to grab a blanket, get yourself cozy using anything under your head if you need. And then we'll slowly make our way to the back. Give ourselves a few moments to really let go. So I want you to allow the arms to Float out by the side, palms face the sky. Let your feet come out and mat width apart. Maybe that pillows under your knees, adjusting your props so you're nice and cozy. Gently rock the head a little side to side so the neck is relaxed and neutral. Allow the eyes to gently close. Allow the lips to part slightly so your jaw is soft. Bringing awareness back to your breath as it moves in and out of the body. Each out breath, keep letting go a little more. I'm going to sit up. You guys stay where you are. So we're completely letting go and relaxing. Every out breath. You're going to sink a little deeper into the mat. Relax and let go. Notice if there's anywhere you're holding tension in your body. It's a great opportunity to use the breath. 
Bring awareness to that area. Just observe it. Inhale, surround the tension. Exhale, just let go. Keep relaxing. Keep letting go. Keep releasing. Melting that tension into the mat. Relax your entire body. Relax. 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 If you have more time to spare, I encourage you to stay in this relaxation pose a little longer. We just had an hour for our time, so take a couple more breaths here. Just keep letting go. Slowly beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. And gently rock your head side to side. And if you're on your back on the floor, we'll bend the knees. Make your way to the right side of your body to a fetal posture for a moment. I'm taking a moment here to notice any changes in body and mind. Calling if you set an intention or dedication for your practice. And as you're ready, you're going to use your left hand to slowly push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. We'll meet in easy pose. Noticing if this feels different from when we started our practice. Hopefully, it feels a little easier, a little lighter, a little more relaxed. And then let's inhale and sweep the arms up together as we gather some good energy. Breathe in deep. Seal your hands at the top and bring them down to your heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing yoga today. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.